course, Evie. As you know, this is the battery uh, and the BMS and everything else all in one. I've got a bit of a problem with it, but it's not a major problem, but it could turn into a major problem because the BMS kept cutting out. Now, taking it apart, I can't see anything wrong with it and I couldn't see anything wrong in the logs. One of the things that I've got to do when it's balancing, um, even with, I've got a copper bus bar in there which I haven't got any of, I can't show you, but instead of having the heatsink pad on there I've got a copper bus bar on there and it's fine for about 15 or 20 minutes when it's hot like it is today, but it still overheats. So I've got to do some fettling this is the original plate that went over there, somewhere like that, which I had to cut the beeper off because I super glued it on. Uh, that used to go on there like that. That's actually solid plastic, I think that took about eight or nine hours just to print that. This is the replacement, which has got pubic hairs on it, not mine. It's PETG. PETG is a nightmare to get it not stringy, but anyway, that goes on there like that. Uh, when it's on, I'll fill that full of sealant to stop any water ingress or whatever. That is for the fan. Hang on. This is one fan that I bought, which is a Noctua fan. This is another fan, which is very crudely sort of. What did I do to that? Uh, yeah, as you can see, my wire. <laughs> uh, no, no, right, so f bollocks and shit. So, these two fans this is the Noctua fan that I wanted to fit, and that rubber shouldn't be on there at the minute, but it doesn't matter. That's too big, that's the one I'm gonna have to use. That one is loud, but that one kicks out a lot of air. Um, I don't 100% know what I'm going to go with on this. I think I may put that on just for balancing when I'm charging it. I may put that on there. I'm also doing another... Hang on. Found it. This is more pubic hair. I need to dial my printer in. It's not very good. Uh, this is going to go on the back like that with a big hole in it. Because I've got another fan. Which is an 80mm fan, I think it's an 80mm fan. And I've probably, I've, this is the first time I've tried this, I've probably designed all this completely bloody wrong. Don't want that in there. No, that's perfect. The perfect size. That's going to go on the inside there, and if I push that in there, sort of, not at the minute, I can actually glue that in place so it's nice and flush. Now the reasoning is, Try and bear with me here because I can't quite explain it. This will blow air in. That obviously is upside down at the minute. That will suck air out of the battery. Now this one will push in a certain amount of air. That will suck out a lot more air which hopefully will pull it from other parts of the battery rather than just this piece here so it will try and cool the battery down a bit. Now I don't think I'm going to be using these things full time. I think it's only going to be when I'm charging uh, to keep the balance temperature down. But I don't know yet, it's a precaution more than anything. That is going to sit... Actually it won't fit will it? Oh you dickhead Tony. That won't fit. Can't use that. This is my new fan. <laughs> so that's going to draw the air in and this is going to draw the air the air out obviously with this mounted on the back now I've still I've got to take it apart because I've got to find out where the problem is I don't know if it's the BMS or I don't know if it's actually a cell cutting out now with the VBMS app at the minute it doesn't actually log the cell voltages it only logs the battery voltage so what I'm hoping to introduce is a cell logging function because at the minute what I have to do is get a, a, a screen capture thing have it on the cell voltage list and get a screen capture thing and then see if the cell voltages drop if any of them drop out suddenly 
I don't know why it's cutting out to be honest, I haven't got the faintest idea, nothing makes sense at the minute. So what I've got to do is I've got to take this apart, I'm going to make something to attach these cells to as well, um, because this BMS only does 200 milliamp, was it 250 milliamp, I don't know, discharge or balance. Uh, fuck. This BMS only does 250 milliamp discharge. Now, what happens is if you've got all your cells, and if we say that one one cell is a lot lower than the rest of them, it has to bring all the other cells down to the same voltage. It's basically a discharge balance. Um, there's no balance. There's no charge balance function built into it. So what? I'm going to do is I'm going to make a tap off this and possibly have a lead, don't know where, don't know how, so as I can plug an external charger into it so at least I can make it a lot quicker by bringing the cell up rather than dragging all the cells down. That's the theory, it's probably not going to work in practice. Uh, that's the Bluetooth, that's my phone. So I've got to take it apart. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. I thought this was the last of it. I never thought I'd take it apart. In actual fact, thinking about it, when I did my uh, run and I was opening it up, these uh, the MOSFETs didn't get hot. So I might take that heat sink off and put this on instead. Then I can have this running full time. Could I? No, I can't because I've got 84 volts coming out of there. Anyway. I'm going to take it apart. This is the battery. It's finished. Uh, I've still got to cover this. I'm going to. I think I'm going to do this in carbon fiber, but ultimately, when I get time, obviously that's my phone. There's the charge port. There's the power port. This is the Bluetooth device which if I turn the light off, you can see it's got a red light on it. And that red light, when you hold the power button down, that red light goes out when it's turned off. That was on version uh, version 2, and I've transferred it and put it on uh, on this new one. Um, hang on. It's a simple way of telling whether it's turned on or turned off, because there's no other way, apart from holding the power button, to actually know that it's on or off, but now I can. That was good. There's the buzzer. That there is for a fan. There's the battery to the fan. I've still got to finish it off, put a connector on it or something. Now if I take my phone off, I've got a nice cooling fan in there. And believe it or not, this seals it all off. When that's on there, there's no air goes through. So I can disconnect it if I wanted to. Uh, if I go on to balance cells, The temperature used to get up to uh, 60 degrees and started shutting down. It goes up to about 40, 45 now. And it is 27, 28 degrees in here, believe it or not. It's ridiculously hot. It's a flat roof and it just absorbs all the bloody heat. So that's done. Now also on the app, um, it now logs if you go onto here and you can force the, the, the record GPS or you can do it automatically it now actually logs all the individual cell voltages as, as, as a text file at the minute uh, I might change that and put a date stamp or something I needed it to be added purely because I don't know if one of the cells is dropping out or what the hell's going on with here with this so oh nice cool air coming out of there the idea of it is it sucks air in there and then it comes out here. If it rains, I'll get a plug for it. Although I didn't put that bloody hole in the right place. Dickhead. I'm going to release an update soon on the app to get everything's all compacted. Uh, what else was there? That's still the same. All the cell voltages and everything, they're all it's all compacted so it's much easier to see. Yeah, there's going to be no e-bike ride this week because it's raining. 
I'm not going out when it's raining because I'll get wet and I don't want to get wet it's not very nice I was going to go out flying but I'll bollocks I'd, I'd fly. so instead I've done the battery that's all ready um, VBMS app uh, sort of ready still a few things to do like the keyboard keeps popping up and down randomly for no apparent reason don't know what's going on there I want to talk a bit about something I have been wanting to do for a long time when I was learning all about this uh, I, I mean I did I openly admit I didn't really know a lot about lithium batteries I knew about lipos because of the flying I used to do the radio controlled stuff but I didn't really know much about how to build a battery, what to do with a battery. I started somewhere, everybody has to start somewhere and unfortunately there's not many places now that you can start somewhere. So I decided when I was building my, uh, my last one I started listing all the parts every component that I used, as, as far as I could remember anyway as, as I was going along so as somebody else could go along and, and just go and find those parts and they could build something and that's why I did the videos so as people can build them it's alright getting a bike and then just say here's my bloody e-bike I built this and that's the end of it but how do you build them? what do you do? And on, on the back of that I decided months... I don't know why I've done that <laughs> I decided months ago I was going to put them in here I decided months ago that I was going to create a website for people to learn as well, so you can sit there and read as well as as, as, as the fuck. So I've designed. Oh, I haven't designed it. I've got a website. Uh, there's going to be a link in the description because by the time you watch this video, it's going to be live anyway. Um, it's for people who haven't got a clue. It's basically a forum for people who haven't got a clue you leave a question someone will answer the question and it doesn't matter how stupid the question is to, is to you like what's the difference between a volt and a millivolt you know that it doesn't matter there is no such thing as a stupid question on my forum there are no stupid questions so don't feel embarrassed about asking them because there's if you go on to any of the others and you ask a stupid question then no one will answer it because they think we'll bolt bloody read up about it but sometimes when you don't know the basics of the basics you don't know what the hell to read about so I'm going to put a link in the description because by the time you watch this video on YouTube it's going to be live anyway it is just a forum it's got a, a, a beginners intermediate and advanced um, it's also a support forum for uh, VBMS app and also the BMS itself um, I think I may put some other things on there. There's there's already a bit of content on there. Go and join up, ask your questions, and someone will answer it. But I'll tell you now, it's a friendly place. If you start messing around and abusing the system or calling somebody a stupid arsehole or don't you even know that, how do you know? If you start being rude, I'll, I'll, I'll just ban you instantly. I have got moderators on there and they are instructed if they're being stupid or they're belittling people, ban them, that's the end of it. So have a look and go and ask the questions.